Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Trump's confidant slipped radioactive poison in assassination attempt. I know who did it. Roger Stone has been a political consultant and advisor to Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and Donald Trump has now revealed that he was almost killed after being poisoned with what doctors believe may have been polonium. Appearing on The Alex Jones Show multiple times Stone detailed this unbelievable, but credible, assassination attempt, including that he had originally thought that he had a simple stomach virus before becoming extremely ill. Stone explained that he became extremely ill, in what manifested itself in over 14 days of high fevers delirium and night sweats. Along with lesions on his chest and face, he had extreme diarrhea and vomiting that could not be stopped with traditional medication. He became exceedingly dehydrated and ultimately had to be hydrated with four and saline injections in the hospital. Stone later added that the general consensus by the doctors who treated him was that he was in fact poisoned. He was poisoned with a substance that may have been polonium or had the characteristics of polonium which made him increasingly ill to the point that if he wouldn't have received medical help he wouldn't have survived the ordeal. In a later interview with Anderson Cooper on CNN, he confirmed that he knew who did but wasn't ready to call out names. All he confirmed was that 50 percent of the nation pretty much wanted him dead after he helped President Trump win the 2016 election against Hillary Clinton. Roger Stone's poisoning claims first started to gain steam in a February 2017 interview with Time magazine's Alex Altman, where he explained what he had gone through for the first time after recovering from the ordeal. Stone's narrative isn't far-fetched especially after the confirmed poisoning of Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Yulia, which has triggered a diplomatic crisis between Russia and the West. Britain and dozens of other countries, including the United States, have expelled more than 150 Russian diplomats in a show of solidarity. In retaliation, Russia ordered the expulsion of Western diplomats from embassies in Moscow and ordered closures of consulates, including the U.S. Embassy in St. Petersburg. Here is more on Stone's ordeal via LMT Online. For more than a year, Roger Stone has asserted that he spent Christmas of 2016 trying to survive an assassination attempt, most likely radioactive polonium poisoning, by someone trying to frame Russia. Tests were conducted, doctors were baffled. The longtime political operative and advisor to Donald Trump told journalists. Even the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention was contacted, but from the moment he made the claims, Stone has deflected questions when asked to back up his claims. It happened again on Friday, during a wide ranging conversation with CNN's Anderson Cooper on Attorney General Jeff Sessions, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, and Trump. At one point, Cooper said he had questions about Stone's polonium assertions. I was extraordinarily ill. Stone told Cooper, before referring to pictures of his face during the period. You can see in the file footage that you used at the beginning of the segment that I still have lesions on my face from that illness. My doctor believed I was poisoned. They believed initially that there was some radioactive element to that. I've never been this sick in my life. But Stone wouldn't go into detail when Cooper asked for proof, even when the host insisted that polonium poisoning, that would be a huge issue in the United States if someone was poisoned with polonium. Still. Stone resisted, I don't think my health is of great interest to the American people other than the half of them that just wish I would drop dead. He directed viewers to my InfoWars report on it. The Alex Jones-hosted website airs conspiracy theories. Stone could not be immediately reached for comment by the Post on Saturday. As Stone spoke on CNN, an ocean away, a former Russian spy and his daughter were recovering from a poisoning attempt in a British town that the British government says points to Russia. The poisoning last month of Sergei Skripal and his daughter, Yulia, has triggered a diplomatic crisis between Russia and the West. Britain and dozens of other countries, including the United States, have expelled more than 150 Russian diplomats in a show of solidarity. Russia, in turn, has ordered the expulsion of Western diplomats from embassies in Moscow and ordered closures of consulates, including the U.S. facility in St. Petersburg. The Skripals were found unconscious on a public bench in Salisbury. He is a 66-year-old former colonel in Russia's military intelligence service who was convicted of helping British agents, then freed in a spy swap. She is a 33-year-old who had just dined with her father at a restaurant named Zizi. Police said the father and daughter were targeted specifically with a nerve agent. Officials have not publicly identified the nerve agent, but they have found traces of it at the restaurant, according to the Associated Press. Russia has countered, bizarrely, alleging a conspiracy involving two dead guinea pigs and a dead cat. And like Stone, 
The Russians assert that the Skripal's poisoning was an effort to frame Moscow. Stone's poisoning claims first gained steam in a February 2017 interview with Time magazine's Alex Altman. I got progressively worse. For almost 17 days in a row, I had a fever of over 100. I went to the hospital. They conducted blood tests. They were baffled. Blood tests went to the CDC. They found an exogenous substance in my blood that had the characteristics of polonium, he said. Like Cooper, Altman asked for proof. Stone told him there would be too many suspects to figure out who'd want to murder him. He did, however, push a theory about a possible motive, the Senate Intelligence Committee was going to have hearings. I could see why some people might not want me to do so. You know, you bump off Stone, make it look like the Russians did it, wow, the Russians killed their agent because he was going to spill his guts in Congress. Just a theory. The deep state moves in strange ways. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.